This is experiment four of structural design and detailing lab. This is start pro window. After opening it, let us create a new one. So this is exper SDD lab. Experiment four. And this is about space frame, analysis and design of space frame. Okay. So let us choose the units metric. Also, this is we can choose uh, to save wherever we want. I will be saving it in documents. Select folder. Let us create the work plane. So in this space frame, let us use this option structure wizard, which is in geometry tab, structure panel, structure wizard. So we are about to create a base frame. So let us choose model type, frame model. And this is base frame, double click on it. And you will be seeing here what is the length it should be. So initially these are, these are all in feet. So let us cancel it, choose the units, file, select units. I'll be choosing meters, okay. Okay, I'll double click on this again. Uh, length, for example, let me say three meters. Height, I'm giving six meters, only G plus one. Uh, width, nine meters. So length, number of base along length, number of spaces. So I'll be giving three, three into three, and here two, one plus two, each story is three, okay, three. And this is width also, sorry, two, this is, this is two, this is also two. Apply. So this is the frame uh, we want. Let us choose the file, merge model with start from model. So it is asking, would you like to transfer or merge this prototype into start from? Say yes. Okay, this is uh, at zero. Okay. So this is what we have created. So that is part of geometry. We have to follow the sequence. Let us choose properties now. In properties, either you will be having prismatic option or define option. So here in this version, I will be having prismatic. Choose that. And we have to define the cross section of beam and column. So choose the rectangle. Uh, YD is the depth. So I will be giving 0.3 and width 0.45 this is for beam add so when i say add you can see this is added here so another 0.3 by 0.3 i am giving per column add close so two were created one is first one i have created for beams we have to select all the beams and assign this section to the beams now so i choose this i go to select it app. i choose here beams panel parallel to x you can see all the beams are selected which are parallel to X and select that again parallel to Z. You can see all the horizontal beams are selected. Uh, now you select this, assign to selected beams, assign, say yes. So choose the second one. We need to assign this to the all to all columns. So here it will be calling as vertical beams. So beams panel, selected app, beams panel parallel to Y and assign to selected beams, assign, yes. So in geometry, we have created a shape, drawing properties, we have defined the cross section and we have assigned them to it. Next, we have we can go to materials, choose concrete. I, even it is uh, appear to be assigned, we have to assign it again. Concrete, assign to selected beams, assign, yes. Specifications, uh, okay, we need not to change anything here. Go to supports. We are giving just fixed support at the and uh, at the bottom. So let us create uh, here. S one is no support. We have to create another support. Here sub create fixed add. So support two is something which we have created right now. So let us we have to select all these uh, beams which are at the bottom. All the nodes which are at the bottom. So select it support two. Go to view. Choose here front view drag and select all of them. If you drag, then only it will be selected uh, in 3D. So to check in 3D whether all are selected or not. Yes, all are in red color, which indicates the selection. Go to assign to selected nodes, assign, yes. And go to loading now. Uh, load case details, second one, add. So we will be adding first the dead load, change the name as dead load. And just 
keep it here so that you can see add you can see dead load is added now load case 2 was there so is there uh, change it as live load and change the title as live add close so we have given two names two loads we have created but we have to assign how much is that so add it was mentioned in the observation shared to you so we have to first add self-weight add close so you can see the question mark for self-weight so you choose that assign to view assign yes so we have to add one more, one more load wall load we have to add it was mentioned so wall load we have to add it as uniform force is a minus 12 for external loads add and minus 6 for minus 6 kilonewton per meter for internal walls add close i mean uh, now you choose this we have to assign it to all the beams which are uh, outside which are which are external let us go to view tab choose the top view and now select all the beams which are uh, you just hold the control button and you select all which are external beams after selecting you can see assigned to selected beams so you can see in 3d whether it is all are selected now right assign yes and this 6 kilonewton per meter you have to assign all to the internal beams you, uh, hold control button and select all the internal beams and after selecting, you can check whether all beams are selected or not. Here, I am not dragging because if you drag, all the vertical members are also will be selected. So, uh, we are not doing that. Internal beams are selected. Assign to selected beams. Assign. Yes. Next, we have to add float load in dead load itself. In dead load, let us add float load. Uh, as here, float load minus 0 0.2. Minus is due to... Uh, due to its direction downward direction here define y range we are giving 0 to 6 other than 6 we have to give a little extra so let us put it 7 so automatically the horizontal flows will be selected in that range so if you select you can see now let us add the live load and we have only one live load as a flow load which is minus 2 there dead load minus 0 0.2 here minus 2 add close okay uh, i have not defined range here you have also 0 to 7 because our range is 0 to 6 other than 6 we are giving little extra 0 0.7 so that it will be perfectly selected okay now go to load case details again we have to add the combinations now define combinations you can see we are giving the factor 1.5 and shift the loads here. You can see it uh, the loads were with the factor add close. So after that, let us go to analysis. So first analysis commands, select all, add close. They have to analyze all. Pre-analysis commands, define commands. So select all. We need all to be analyzed all close so post analysis commands define commands here these three loads are to be shifted here add and here select analysis results which gives all the results analysis results add close that's why now so the you can now run analysis so you can save the structure After getting zero errors, zero warnings. Let us now go to design part. So analysis is over. Let us choose design. And here we are designing for concrete. When you choose concrete, then you can see the code IS456. So in that, define parameters. So here you have to define uh, the FC, which is the characteristic strength of the concrete. I am giving M20 to 20,000 kilo newton per meter square. Add. FY main, there's a yield strength of the main reinforcement that is 415000. I'm giving FU415 and FY main, secondary reinforcement also I'm giving 415000 and 
maximum rain, main reinforcement i am choosing it as 16 mm and maximum secondary reinforcement i am choosing it as 10 mm sorry 16 mm and minimum re main reinforcement choosing 12 mm and minimum secondary reinforcement i am choosing 12 close now go to commands design beam add design column add take off add close so let us assign everything to it choose this assign to select assign to view assign yes what are the parameters we have defined those are applicable for all the members appear here assign to you assign yes we have to choose everything assign to view assign yes next choose this one assign to you the maximum main reinforcement 16 mm right uh, yes maximum secondary reinforcement 16 mm assign to view assign yes minimum main reinforcement 12 mm assign to view assign yes minimum secondary reinforcement assign to view assign yes design beam you have to choose all the beams so go to select it and beams panel parallel to x parallel to z assign to selected beams assign yes design column you have to go to again select it tab beams panel parallel to y you can see all the vertical members are selected assign to selected beams assign yes. so now you can go for analysis and design again run analysis So you can see again zero address, zero warning. You can see output file. Here you can see all the design details. Beam design. So you can see how much should be the length. So all the details you can see here. Top reinforcement according to uh, the specified diameters. Main reinforcement, uh, minimum reinforcement, uh, secondary reinforcement, main reinforcement, all as per the requirements. You have defined you will be getting all the details and one more thing we will be having uh, the advanced concrete design which is known as rcdc this is a continuation so if you choose this that will design according to the requirement so depending on loads you have given it will be designing on its own which is the best suitable so let us try that so let us go to advanced concrete design if you click click on that Entire this window will be closed and now RCDC will be opened automatically. You have to wait a little for it. Okay. Now it is opening. Go to RCDC. Accept. So project you have to uh, refund as a space frame. Client uh, to someone, an engineer. You can type any name. So after that, you can go to, if you want to design the beam first, there is no beam at zero meters choose uh first floor next floor so three meters and six meter height you will be having beams create project We will be reading analysis model. Okay, here it is. As this red indicates the beam is not failed. Uh, in that line, it was selected. So remaining are, will be shown in red. That's it. So here we have to check whether all beams are passed or not. So for that, we have to first design it using RCDC. So go to design tab, auto design. Here you can see two loads. You have to shift each to right side. Okay. Now we have defined co co combination loads, right? Uh, you can go to directly add from analysis, which was 1.5 we have defined. Okay. So here, see here, uh, you can see the beams which are, are passed that will be shown in green color here if any beam is failed that will be shown in red color so you have to go back and you have to change the design parameters a little or you have to change the loads which are being imposed on it or you have to change change the sizes of it sizes of the members you have defined you have to define the cross section or 
So you have to change the cross section. So this is 450 by 300 for beams. So in the same way, we can see uh, this reports, elevation and section. So whichever beam you want to see, you can select that. You can, uh, you, if you want to draw the cross section, cross beams, anchorage, section mark. So I'm selecting everything. Choose OK. Now you can see the cross section of the beam, whichever you, you have selected. So there's a beam, how the reinforcement it would be. So this is how the reinforcement is provided for it based on this design. Go to reports. So here you can see design summary. So these are all the details what you have given to you. So initially it will be giving project name and all. Uh, here the group based beams according to the groups it will be giving complete summary. How much reinforcement is provided? How much shear reinforcement is provided? How much main reinforcement is provided? So everything, all the details will be mentioned here. This is a summary. And if you want to see the design calculation, it will be showing you all the design. Uh, you can see select for all beams or you can choose any one beam if you want. So that will be giving a, a symbol and definition. Depending on IS456, that will be also mentioning the clauses from which it has taken. So this is a complete detailed calculation how we got this. So we have seen design part, elevation, uh, drawing, design summary, design calculation. So uh, BBS, bar bending schedule, if you want to generate BBS for all beams, you can select generate. You can also define the rates for it. The bar beneath. and these are all the reports right you can save all the reports separately here is the save button you can select all of them okay we have to save the project first so then we have to go to design summary we can save all the files separately as html files we can later change them as PDFs. So that's it. Uh, based on, if you just close it, then your analysis model will be shown. So as usual, if you go to post-processing, you can see all the loads are selected, of course. So if you want to, choose, if you can choose the combination of loads. And you have to see if you want to see combination loads, shear force, bending moment. Now you can select. So either you have two options. So one is select the displacement, and if you uh, if you just hold the control button and if you uh, scroll up, you can see uh, these are changing. And Unselect the displacement, choose FY, shear force, and you can also do the same. Control button and scroll it up so that the scale will be increased. And deselect that, go to shear force, uh, hold control button and scroll it up. You can see the bending moment diagrams. So now you can see them together. So otherwise, we have another option. Uh, you can go to select tab, sorry, you can go to view tab, label settings, in scales tab. Go to apply immediately. You can see here shear Y. If you reduce that, you can see how it is changing. According to the requirements, you can change everything at one point here. Okay. So that is all about space frame design and analysis using Stratpro Connect. Thanks.